and the most beautiful babes in the world hustle me and the old boy with no remorse. They obviously all want his money and want to throw me off their trail. If I find out who inherits the most money, I think I'll find the killer. Oh. Hello. I didn't know anyone was in here. Well, there is. You must be Sam Drake, that sexy secret agent Roxanne hired to save Higgy from those horrible black marketeers who were trying to kill him. I'm not a secret agent. I'm a private detective. Oh, the places you must go. The French Riviera, the Swiss Alps, Brazil. Mm. The <laughs> furthest I've been was Pittsburgh to visit my Aunt Esther. But I didn't see any need to mention that right now. I'm so afraid in this house, Mr. Drake. But I feel so safe in your arms. <laughs> Did you say your name was? Irene. Irene Higglesbottom. Oh, you're Higgy's. <sighs> Christ, Junior, would you sit down? You can kill him later. Now sit down and eat. Ants. Oh, hello, Mr. Drake. Good evening. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Glad you could join us, Mr. Drake. I saved your seat, Sam. Digestion pills? Did you take your Motrin? <coughs> Capitan? Lasix? Digitalis? <coughs> Here we go. Oh, good. <coughs> Who's hungry? If this keeps up, I'm going to run out of suspects in a hurry. Actually, they all seem like pretty friendly people. Well, most of them. <clears throat> Hi, we didn't formally meet Sam Drake. I'm Junior. Fine boy you got there, Higgy. Oh, <laughs> that's not my son. <clears throat> all right, all right. He's my son, probably. And you have a delightful daughter. Well, I'm damn sure I don't have a daughter. <laughs> that's Junior's wife. Remember what I said about pretty, friendly people? I take it back. Piranhas show more affection than this bunch. So I've got a little announcement to make. <coughs> in light of recent events in this house, I've decided to change the will. What? All right, all right, calm down. You can't do this. You have no right. You don't even know what was in the first will. <coughs> Never believed in lawyers before. Bunch of crooks out to steal a man's money. <coughs> but this will is going to be legal and ironclad. <laughs> oh, I just wish I could see the expressions on your faces when the will is read. <laughs> Sweetheart. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> you didn't do anything crazy. Like leave your money to a bunch of cats, did you? Do I look like an idiot? But you are going to leave your estate to your only son, aren't you? He has a wife, you know. We all love you, Higgy. No one could have been nicer or more generous to us than you. Hey, don't think I don't know what's been going on around here. <laughs> Hopefully, Mr. Drake will confirm my suspicions. 
And don't worry. You're all gonna get your just desserts. Dessert? <laughs> I'm ready. You all want one thing. Dessert. <coughs> Money! <coughs> you look at me like a bunch of carrion crows. Huh? Just waiting to dig your beaks into my carcass and pull out my money. Well, I've lost my appetite. And, uh, you call for dessert? Here we go. Oh, now we're talking. Jane, why don't you serve coffee in the living room? Very well, ma'am. <coughs> Somebody in this house wants to rush it along, huh? Nonsense. Well, then who's been shooting at me? The Russians. Oh. South Africans? The Canadians? Bull feathers. Somebody in this house has been doing it. Yeah. So I hopefully Mr. Drake can put a stop to it, right? Right? Right. <clears throat> Assuming you wanted to commit suicide. Harcourt Higgle's bottom has been poisoned. You don't know that. Well, his tongue is blue. And there's no blueberry pie on the table. Only the strawberries. Don't you kick on me now, Junior. I've wasted way too much time in this to lose it all on strawberry shortcuts. Hey, hey, easy, easy. He's all right. Higgy died less than 10 seconds after eating his dessert. Einstein over here has been shoveling down that cake now for five minutes. Well, maybe the poison only killed people with a brain. No. no the killer knew exactly which piece he would get, and that's the one they poisoned. Jane! Why'd you do it? I didn't do it. Hey, Dad. No, I didn't. You did, too. She made the food. She must have poisoned him. How did she know which piece he'd take? You're the one who said the killer would know exactly which piece Higgy would take. Yeah, I did say that, didn't I? Well, I don't know. Not yet, but I will. Anyone else in the house tonight? Only Carlo, the chauffeur. It's his night off. I saw him here before. No, you didn't. You want a good suspect, Mr. Drake. Carlo. The two of these can't get enough of him. But all I see is a disgruntled employee who just got turned down for a raid. Take these reps off me so I can kill her! There's been enough killing for one night. Let's all just calm down. Uh, my, my dad's dead. Shouldn't we call the police or something? Sorry, son. You really liked him, huh? Well, he was my dad. Well, I don't think your dad wanted the police involved. Otherwise, he would have called them himself. And he didn't want the family name in the news. Junior, look find the killer, I promise. Your loving father also promised him a million dollars of our money. Don't forget that part, Mr. Drake. That has nothing to do with it. Not much it doesn't. You were ready to leave before he offered you a million dollars, weren't you? All right, all right, fine. Tell you what, forget the million. Remember our original deal? 30 bucks a day, and I'll solve the murder. I'm in charge now, clear? Got change for a hundred? I'll give you your salary right now. I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow, so I'm going to sleep. Nobody leave, or I will call the cops. I didn't actually...